Hello there. Today's video is on how to back up your computer documents and files and settings so that text can't get to them. So a common question that I get is people are taking their computer into a shop and uh, they need to make sure that the text can't snoop on what it is that they're doing because they're a little nervous because they've been <clears throat> I don't know looking at naked ladies or they've been taking pictures of themselves when they are naked ladies or uh, I don't really care. Uh, most texts don't really care, but that's fine. I'll show you how to protect your uh, your information. You're going to need a USB flash drive and a printer to do what I need to do. What I recommend to do. Um, usually, I recommend just pull the hard drive out, and that's the best way because there's always a weasel clause somewhere that says that uh, they can reinstall Windows if need be, and uh, then you lose all your data for certain, uh, even if you hide it as best as possible. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to back up all your personal data and I'm going to show you a couple other things that you'll probably need to do beforehand. So this is a free program. It's called Bellark. It's available from bellark.com. Uh, well, it's free for consumers. Don't run it in your office environment. Uh, you should pay for a license for that point. Uh, there's also ninite.com, N-I-N-I-T-E.com, because if they reinstall Windows, they're not going to reinstall your programs, which means you're going to need your copy of Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you're using. Uh, your copy of Windows isn't going to get reinstalled. You're going to have a lot of stuff missing. Uh, and that's where this Bell Arc Advisor comes into play is with the copy of Windows. It's going to, when you run it, it's going to give you this report that you're going to want to print off. And uh, it's going to come with a lot of cool things like your keys. Uh, your key for your copy of Office, your key for your copy of Windows, your key for this, your key for that. There are 25-digit codes made out of letters and numbers. Uh, at least that's the way the Windows are. Uh, run this Bell Arc Advisor, print it off just for good measure because at least then you can prove to Microsoft that you had a copy of Windows and that you can tell them what the key is and they can probably recommend the best way to go about getting the office back on your computer uh, because any tech that winds up reinstalling Windows isn't going to back up your copy of Windows. Now what I'm about to show you doesn't work if you have a virus on your computer because there's a pretty good chance if you have a virus on your computer that you're just backing up the virus and you need to get your computer cleaned off uh, actually you know the Ninite program of uh, oops Ninite program that uh, that I recommend has a couple of good antiviruses on it uh, where did they go oh here they are uh, I like AVG I like malware, I like super anti-spyware, because if you got a virus, this guy, you can get the installer, and it'll run once on your computer, and uh, install all three of those guys, and then you need to run those guys and let them do the antivirus, because if you do this little backup method I show you, you're probably going to be backing up the virus, and then when you get your computer back nice and clean, then uh, you're just going to put the virus right back on there. So let's go ahead and start menu, and we're going to do uh, Windows Easy Transfer. And uh, you probably just type in easy into your start menu and it'll find it. There it is right there. Let's hit enter. Now, on Windows 7, which is what I'm running, and Windows, some versions of Windows Vista, there's actually a better method to uh, back up your whole computer. Let's do a backup and restore. Now, on Windows 8, you do have a backup and restore, but it's not the same backup and restore, and it doesn't have the option to create a system image. System image will back up your entire hard drive even Microsoft Office and Chrome and Safari and all this other stuff that we're talking about um, and we'll store it on your hard drive although it's going to take a lot of room uh, just as much room as you're using on your current hard drive uh, which in my case it's a pretty clean hard drive um, oops well let's try to do this properly like I know what I'm doing computer there we go. Uh, this is one that I just installed last night, and I'm already using 15 gigabytes. So you're going to need a pretty big external drive um, to do that option of create a system image. Uh, Windows 8 does have what's called the Windows 7 file recovery system, something like that. Uh, but it doesn't work with a lot of e doesn't work with ejectable media. So you need a network drive or another internal hard drive or something like that. It's really kind of stinks that they took it out of Windows 8. But uh, it does work on Windows 7, uh, create a system image. It is awesome. I've used it many a times. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, usually I just use DVDs uh, whenever I get a new, well, used to be, whenever I got a new Windows 7 computer or somebody I knew got one, I'd make them make the DVDs. 
All right, so here we are, Windows Transfer. In case you forgot how we got here, we'll do the Easy, and it should just come up in the menu with Windows Easy Transfer. Okay, so here we go. Let's run Next. And you can do, you can buy these fancy little cables they used to sell back in the early days of Vista. I don't know if they make them anymore. Uh, I sold a couple of them to people. Uh, there's network, but honestly, if you have a network shared drive, why are you watching this video? You're probably a nerd already. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the external hard drive or USB flash drive. We say, hey, this is my old computer. And you can see my username here, Technobiological. And uh, my shared items, those are stuff that everybody gets on here. We could have unchecked that and not done that and not restored that. But, you know, I'm kind of running off at the spout here and not really paying attention to what I'm doing. But, um, remember this Windows Easy Transfer little thing takes a little while, so let it run. Uh, hey, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit next. Uh, we can do a password on this bad boy, so let's put a password on it. Uh, we'll password secure it. And uh, like I say, do not store this on your internal. You want to store this on a USB drive, something that you keep with you while your computer is away from home. I, however, am in storing it on an internal hard drive. You can tell that because it looks like a little hard drive, the picture there, the little icon. Because uh, I'm on virtual machine and it doesn't take USBs. It does, but it's a pain to do, so we're not going to do that. Uh, but you, you, however, should do it on some kind of external drive that you can save it on. Go to the store, buy one, because uh, you probably need it one anyway to back your stuff up. So let's go ahead and save this stuff. And uh, this is going to take a minute. I'm going to pause the video here because I don't want to babble the whole video. You don't need to listen to me babble for 10 minutes. Okay, so here we are. We got a couple check boxes. Everything looks kosher. Let's go ahead and hit next. And uh, make sure that you write down your password and you saved it on the Z drive, Z, or whatever letter you chose. Let's go and hit next and close. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the start menu and type in users because no backup system is good, untested, uh, because you want to make sure stuff works. So I typed in user to the start menu, went to the user accounts. We're going to manage another account. This is a copy of Windows 7 Home Premium. So if you're on basic, you may be finding out that this stuff's not there. I don't know. I don't really know anybody with basic, so I can't test it and play with it. Let's go ahead and create a new account. Create a new account. We want to make this account an administrator. Oh, I've got accounts got to have names, right? Got to have names. Oh, yes. Thank you. Glad it took you that long to figure that out, Windows. Uh, ABC, go ahead and create account. ABC will be the account that the techs use. Let's go ahead and create a second account. Create a new account. Admin. And we're going to use one, two, three. Create account. And this is going to be our test account. You could call it test account. That would have been fine. Uh, let's go ahead and get off of this computer. So, uh, Windows, log off. And we're going to log in as one, two, three. Uh, so, one, two, three. Ooh, Black Eyed Susan. Or Sunflower. We we'll like that. Um, Alright, so it's going to ha take a minute to build the desktop. Let's go ahead and pause the video here again. You don't need to watch this. This is not must-see TV. Okay, so here we are with the uh, the new account. Uh, you can tell because the wallpaper changed. It doesn't say technological.com on there. The start menu is not the way I like it. Uh, and I'm going to have to change it. So we'll go to properties. You don't have to do this bit right here. Auto hide. Okay, so now that we're logged in, you can hit the uh, hit start menu. You can see it says one, two, three. That's who we're logged in as. Let's go ahead and type in easy. And that should open up the Windows Easy Transfer. And we're going to test our backup. So go ahead and hit next, uh, external. This is the new computer. It's not really the new computer, but we'll tell it that. That's fine. We'll let it think that. Does no harm. So we'll say uh, yes. At this point, it wants to know where our drive is. Plug in your USB, or if you never removed it, just leave it in, I guess, and click on it. Uh, this is the Windows Easy Transfer. Items from old. Let's go ahead and hit open. Now, we need the password. Remember, we put a password on that file, so see if I can remember what the password is. Uh, apparently, I do. All right. Uh, at this point, we're going to do a customize, though. Customize. Oh, no, not a customize. We're going to do advanced options. Advanced options, this settings from your old username, Technobiological to your username, which uh, in this case is 123. Let me make sure I got that right. I am logged in as 123. Very good. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And we're going to do a transfer. Uh, you should see the background. See these little white little line thingies back here? Uh, you should see the background change. There's some up here in the upper right. 
uh, when it gets there. When it gets there. Uh, you don't need to watch this. Let's pause the video again. Oh wait, there we go. There's the background. Awesome. Uh, I didn't think it would take long because you don't really have anything on this computer. Uh, you're not going to do that change user setting whenever you do the next one. Uh, whenever you get the computer back. You're going to make a new user and uh, log in as that user and then transfer your settings. Come on, shared items. I guess, unless you don't remember what your username was when you get the computer back, then you can just make a new user and do that in advance. Good. All right. So this is a see what was transferred. We can see a transfer report. Uh, or you can just go down here to um, close that. See a list of computers you might want to install. Remember I told you I made you, uh, talked about Ninite, and I talked about uh, Office and things like that. Well, these are the programs that were installed on your old profile or your old computer and may not be installed anymore and you look through this list and go hey well, what have I got going on here what but all these guys say already installed because technically this is the same computer when I hit uh, Windows Internet Explorer it should load up the three tabs because I saved those as my home pages yeah there's Bell Arc uh, yeah ask me later Ninite and yes thank you Windows. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff. Um, so everything worked, everything was fine. Let's go ahead and log out. And we're going to delete both of these users. Now that we know our backup works, you want to spend a couple minutes making sure all your files are there before you do this step. Uh, the one we're giving them is ABC. So yeah, you want to make sure you spend a couple of minutes looking around, making sure all your files are there, your bookmarks, your yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that we know the backup works, uh, we're going to kill our user profile. Um, there are ways to get in here and still find stuff, but the average tech isn't going to go through that trouble. So let's go ahead and hit start and users accounts. Manage another account. Now uh, we're going to get rid of right click. Oh, I can't do that. Let's double click on the username here. We're going to delete this account. And we're going to delete files. Delete account. And we can delete the files because we know we've backed them up. At this point, you've, you know, you logged in as 123 and uh, you checked and made sure that everything was there. So, um, delete account. Who am I logged in as? ABC. Yep. So, uh, what I did was. I went to uh, 123 and we're going to delete this account and delete files, delete account. All right, now if you've saved your files somewhere else other than my documents, my pictures, my what have you, um, then you're going to need to you're going to need to go manually back those up. But I always recommend that people save things in my documents and my pictures in you know whatever if you're using some kind of program that came with your camera to manage your pictures <laughs> it's a pretty good chance that it's not storing in your documents um, so you need to make sure that everything's in you know uh, my documents that it's in one of uh, like uh, my documents or uh, music pictures videos downloads what have you uh, because at this point, when I go to C colon users, uh, you don't see Technological or 123 anymore. They're all missing. Uh, all their files are gone. Uh, now, when you get your computer back, you're going to want to go back to users, user accounts, create a, another account, manage another account create a new account give it a name like you had before make sure oh, I can't even spell my own name um, make sure you're an administrator go ahead and create account uh, log in as yourself run the Windows easy transfer to restore everything back 
delete this user called ABC uh, just like I did earlier in the video and hopefully uh, you didn't send it in for a virus and you just put the virus right back on there but there you go thank you for watching If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?